All right, my yard's got a soggy spot in it. Maybe yours does as well. Whenever it rains, we get puddles, and it stays consistently moist in this one spot in the backyard. Angelo, you've got solutions. Yeah, Shrubs this, for wet areas. Absolutely, Mark. There's quite a you know array of selection that you can pick from, sure. you know, to put in wet areas. You know, if you need a tree, the river, river birch, birch definitely is. Uh, and it doesn't first. mind wet roots. No, at not times. at all. And the same thing with sparkleberry. This you is know, the ilex. These, these beautiful. Uh, red berries in a in a fall. Yeah, great uh, they, for they holiday. Pretty much time. stays all winter long. Sambucas, these black sambucas, absolutely beautiful. This that, is called black lace elderberry, yeah, right absolutely, here. Absolutely, just absolutely. Gets great. great flowers on it and some berries, and, and it likes a lot of color. Spots. Okay, and what the same, about the dogwood? Here? Dogwood, the same thing. You know, you know you make sure that uh, you know every couple of years you give them. A, I wouldn't cut them every year, but every two years I'll cut give them back a cut and then, down toward the ground. And then they'll stay nice and fresh. Yeah, the variegated foliage yeah. there. How about this? And the clatras. The you know, clatras. You know, a lot of different varieties. Ruby spice, uh, great fragrance. fragrance. Butterflies, yeah. bugs love it. Yeah, they love it. And at least by all, you know, this is a black gum. This is a black gum. You don't see these around very, very, very often. Very, very seldom you see. But, you know, if you want to see a fall color, this is by far the brightest red you'll ever see. Uh, just a great tree, and like I said, you don't see very many of them around. And black gum like moist areas. They love moist. All right, perfect. Okay, if you need something to sit in a little bit of moisture in the ground, we've got shrubs for you. Thanks, Angelo. Thanks, Mark.